nothing better than pregame festivities for the World Series. Game three is coming up next. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Miami Marlins and the Los Angeles Angels. John Chomby with you alongside Chris Singleton. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. And, Boog, this is as close to an elimination game as you can get without it actually being one. Going down 3-0 with more or less just in this thing. So this game's going to tell us whether we're going to have a real series in store for us or if we're just going to be packing our bags and going home. A lot of people feel these teams are more evenly matched than the first two games would indicate. So we'll see if we get a bounce-back performance in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll here and getting the call here, Griffin Canning. Last time out, it just seemed like he wasn't trusting his stuff. He fell behind in the count, walked a number of guys. Today, he's got to pitch aggressively and he's got to pitch inside. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. That is good. Well, with this the many pitches thing, thrown man. here in this first yeah, inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Brown picks it up to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Angels strand a couple, scoreless after one. One out, base is empty. So here's Brown at the plate. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. A little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's home. Ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center, and it kicks off the base of the wall. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And Jorge Alfaro, the next up for the Marlins. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Line drive. Makes the catch in and over. Down to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. So the lineup flips over, and now it's Matt Duffy. The batter, the second baseman. The hole in one now. Duffy. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Over to Dahlbeck, two down. Yeah. Up next for the Angels. Yeah, the shortstop. Now it's the power speed combo. Sean Brown. He now is. That. Two outs. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Judge makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Marlins down quietly. Still no score. Next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. He's 0 for 1. Up next for the Angels, the first baseman, Jared. Yeah, the right hander deals. And he grounds one back up the middle in plenty of time to first. That is the inning. Angels held in check, and we are still scoreless. Base is empty with two away. Here's a big power threat. Sean Brown. Two. Come on, let it fly right here. And the righty deals. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. 
Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. City and stay there. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Judge makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Miami, and we're still knotted at zero. One down, runner at first. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate for the fourth time tonight. All tied up here the last half of inning number nine. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to second for one. Double play, and we're headed to extra innings. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started, and the batter will be the shortstop, Sean Brown. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. The 2-2 two -two now. Line drive, that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Off-balance throw in time. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Now back. Jorge Alfaro. Jorge Alfaro at the plate. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. Ground ball back, Duffy. Tosses the first, got him. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Out to center, Trout is there. Squeezes it, and that is that. Marlins strand a pair, still no score. One down, Sean Brown, the next up for the Marlins. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Nothing at war. Here's your one. On the ground. Gathers and throws to first. And he's out. The batter number 13, second baseman, David Bowie. So to a board and two outs, scoreless game. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Shohei Otani. The O2. That one the other way. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Angels walk it off in game three. A walk-off win in the World Series? You got to be kidding me. These guys are not going to be able to sleep tonight. What an exciting ball game, and what a way to finish. The final one to nothing, a one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long.
our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Angels, one run on six hits, no errors. They left 21.